Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be building CSX's newest heritage unit, CSX 1871, the Atlantic Coastline Heritage Unit, in this sharp purple paint scheme. And as with the others, it does have the CSX paint on the cabin nose. And if you are interested in the CSX Heritage Units, as you can see here, we have done all of the previous ones and have tutorials up for each and every one of the CSX Heritage Units so far. And that's what all of these look like. So let's get right into the build of 1871 now. So as usual, we're gonna start with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer in the middle. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block forward on bottom, we're gonna put three black stone brick blocks on the center and an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a row of five black stone brick blocks. Then come in front of it and do a three block tall T shape in the center, like this and put a torch on either side of the second layer. On this outer edge, we're gonna put three bamboo slabs here and three on this side. In front of that, do a five by three, a black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna swing back here and put three bamboo top slabs in the center up here. And then on the same level of the coupler, we need a sideways chain on the outer edge and open a fence gate next to the coupler. And we're gonna repeat that on this side as well. Then on the top middle, we're going to put a bamboo fence gate in the center and a zombie head on either side of it. And then we'll swing up in front of this. In front of this on the bottom, we're going to put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, another right wheel on each rail. Make sure it's netherite. Then in the middle, a deep slate tile top slab. In front of that, three wide of deep slate tile walls, two top slabs in the middle. Three wide of walls again, two top slabs in the middle, and three wide of walls again. Then we're going to add another right wheel here and here. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a fence gate in all four of these gaps between the wheels. Then take a deep slate tile stair and we're going to put a backward facing stair on all three other right wheels and repeat over here. Then we're going to add two deep slate tile top slabs in this gap between the stairs and two here and repeat that on the other side. Then we're going to add a single slab on top of all three stairs on both sides here. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on all three of these stairs and then one above the front wheel and back wheel and a fence gate above the middle wheel. And repeat over here, so wither skeleton skull on all three stairs here. One above the front wheel and back wheel, and a fence gate above the middle. Then we're gonna put a line of black stone brick blocks down the top middle to your align with these walls up here. And put a full row of fence gates on the side here. And a full row of fence gates on this side here. Then we'll come up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a sideways lightning rod here and here and then repeat over here as well. Then we're gonna come up bottom right in front of this and we're gonna go three wide on the bottom middle with polished black stone brick block and extend that forward for the fuel tank. And we're gonna make it a total of 16 blocks long, one six, so a three by 16. On the side, put 16 black stone brick stairs upside down and all facing outward. And then repeat over here and a full row of upside down stairs on this side as well. Then on the second layer of this, we'll start back here and just go three wide on the top middle with our black stone brick block and bring it forward to the front of this fuel tank section. Then on this side only, we're gonna add a full line of black stone brick blocks above the stairs. On this side, we're gonna put two blocks at the back and then three on the front. Then on this side, we're going to come back here and we're going to open a fence gate going this way right here. Then we'll come in front of this fuel tank and do the front truck. So we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle right here with deep slate tile walls, two deep slate tile top slabs, three wide of walls again, two top slabs, three wide of walls again, and then one top slab in the middle. 
then add a netherite wheel here, here, and here, and repeat on this side. Then put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels, and a fence gate in all four of these gaps between the wheels. Then take a deep slate tile stair, and we're going to put a backward facing stair on the side of all three netherite wheels, and repeat on this side over here as well. Then we'll put two deep slate tile top slabs between the stairs here, and then here, and then repeat it over on this side. Then we're going to put a single slab on top of all three stairs on both sides. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three stairs here. And then one above the front wheel and the back wheel and a fence gate on the middle wheel. Repeat here. So a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three stairs, one above the front wheel and back wheel. And we need a fence gate on the middle wheel. like that. Then we're going to do a line of blackstone brick block down the top middle to your align with these front fence gates. On this side of row of fence gates here, except add one blackstone brick block in this corner. On this side, just do a full row of fence gates right here. Then come up here and crouch, and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here, and then one here and one here. Then in front of this on the bottom, we need to do a five by three of blackstone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks here. In front of that, a three black tall T shape in the middle. Put a torch on either side of this second layer. And then on the outer edge, three bamboo slabs on either side like this. In front of this on the bottom middle, the three forward facing blackstone brick stairs then an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, we're gonna do a block in the center and two forward facing upside down stairs on either side of that. Then three bamboo top slabs on the top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around, stack it up to this middle second block, put a fence gate under it. Then on this second layer, on the outer edge, we need a sideways chain and next to the coupler, open a fence gate and then repeat that on this side here. And then finally, on the top middle, we're gonna put a bamboo fence gate and a zombie head on either side. Then, we're gonna come where this corner block is and put a bell right here on the front of the fuel tank. Then on this side, we're gonna do a skeleton skull, mangro sign, mangro button. On the back here, put one button here, one sign here. Then in this gap, do five anvils, a fence gate, and then five more anvils. Then on this other side, on the third block from the front of the fuel tank here, we're going to put a skeleton skull right here, a mango sign, skip one and mango button. We're also going to put one button on this block back here. Then we're going to start at one end on this third layer, and we're going to go three wide on this top middle with our polished blackstone brick blocks. And we're just gonna bring this all the way across the top middle to the other end. And then once we get down to this end, we're gonna start in this top corner and we're gonna simply put a smooth stone top slab, every other block coming all the way down this outer edge to the other end. And of course, We'll repeat on this side and put a smooth stone top slab, every other block, all the way down to the other end. And then we're going to go back through, and on all these gaps between them, we're going to put a bamboo top slab in every single one of these spaces. And then repeat on this side, of course. And we'll put a bamboo top slab in every single one of these gaps on the top, going end to end. Now we'll come on top of the front on the third block in, and we'll go five wide right here with yellow concrete, then one on the left, a bamboo stair going this way, a lapis, two yellow concrete, then one yellow on the top middle with an outward facing black stone brick stair on either side. 
Behind this, on each outer edge, put two lapis in a column. And on top of that, a forward-facing black stone brick stair on each one, and three black stone brick blocks on this top middle. Then put a bamboo button on this bottom lapis on each side. Then we'll actually start on this other side here. And on this bottom outer edge here, we're going to do two lapis, a decorated pot, two lapis. Five lapis above it, above that, one on each end, three yellow concrete in the middle. And then the other side will be different, so we're going to start down here. We'll do two blue shulker boxes, a lapis, two shulker boxes, and then a lapis. Then we're going to put six lapis up here. Then up here, one on the front, three yellow concrete, then a warp door and a backwards door behind it. Then here, three black stained glass panes. And across here, two black stained glass block, a lapis lazuli, two stained glass blocks. Three black stained glass panes here, and a lapis on the back. Then put a white stained glass paint on either side of the windshield, like this. Then on top, we're going to put five outward facing smooth court stairs here. And then five on this side. Then we'll fill the rest of this cab roof in between the stairs, all with smooth quartz block. Then we're going to come behind the cab with Lapis Azui, one block in from the outer edge. Put a column of five here, and a column of five here, one on the top middle. Behind it on each side, one block in, we'll go four, then three, then two, then one. Same here, so four, three, then two, then one. So it's like that. Then down here, two blue shulker boxes and a lapis. And then two lapis up in this corner here. Next, come over on this side. And we're going to put a single bamboo sign right here. Then we need to make a banner. So we're going to come into a loom with a blue banner and yellow dye. And we're going to put a horizontal on the bottom. Then we're going to go over here and crouch. And we're going to put this banner on this side door to hide it and a blue banner under it, and that hides that door there. Then come up here on the top middle on back, and do five purple concrete coming back here, then two bedrock with two iron bars on either side of the bedrock. Then down here, one block in from the outer edge, we're gonna put three purple concrete here, then four here. Then a line of light gray to the back here, and a line of purple here. Then a purple here and here, three chisel bookshelves in the middle. Down here, do five lapis lazuli, one purple concrete. Then up here, four lapis, two purple. Then up here, three lapis, three light gray. In this corner, put two purple stained glass panes here. Then on this side, come down here, one block in, three purple concrete here, four here. Then five light gray here, and a row purple across here. Up here, we're going to do a purple concrete, two chisel bookshelves, then a concrete with a crimson sign and a chisel bookshelf here. And now we'll move to the rear end. Back here on the third block in, do three purple concrete like this in the middle, then another layer, then a layer of light gray above it, up here, purple concrete here and here, and a purple stair facing backwards. Then up here, three purple concrete on top, and above this stair go five wide of purple concrete here. Then we're going to come right in front of this on the middle on bottom and do a line of eight bedrock blocks coming forward and we're going to make that three blocks tall in the middle. Then take out iron bars and we're going to put a column of three here. Then skip a block in two columns of three. Skip a block one column of three. Skip a block one column. Put a sideways purple shulker box on the bottom of each gap. Then a light gray concrete on the top of each gap. And then deep slate tile walls in all three middle gaps. On top of this, do two rows of purple concrete coming forward to the front of this. Then we'll do the other side. Down here, we're going to make this L shape of purple shulker boxes in this corner. Then a purple concrete here and close the jungle trap door on it. Two light gray concrete above it. Then do three iron bars here. Skip one, two columns of three. Skip one, one column of three. Put a purple shulker box here and here, then a deep slate tile wall on each one, then a light gray concrete in each one. And finally, two rows of purple concrete across the top, up to here. 
then on the back on this second block down, do five upside down deep slate tile stairs here and five purple concrete above it. Then right here, put two deep slate tile slabs and four purple stairs like this above it. Repeat on this side. So we're gonna do five upside down deep slate tile stairs starting right here. Five purple concrete above it. Then skip a block forward and do two deep slate tile slabs here and four outward facing purple stairs above this. Then take purple slabs on top and we're gonna go three across here, three across the front, two on each side. In this hole, put two deep slate tile slabs with two iron trap doors. Then go back to purple slabs and do a line down the middle to the very back here and one on either side of the back. Then deep slate tile slabs across here and deep slate tile slabs across here as well. Then we're gonna come in front of this for this middle section, one block in from the outer edge on bottom, and do two layers of purple concrete coming across here. And same thing on this opposite side, do two layers of purple concrete across here, one block in from the outer edge. Then we'll do a single layer of light gray concrete across here on each side. Then above that, a single layer of purple concrete on each side. And we'll also go ahead and just fill in this middle with purple. Then back here, do a 3x3 three three square of purple concrete with a decorated pot in the middle. Then take purple stairs out and crimson fence gates. Right here, put three backward facing purple stairs. Back here, a 3x3 three three of purple slabs, two on each side two rows of three here. In this gap, open a crimson fence gate and a sideways one behind it. And then we'll come up on top of the cap. On this front porch, do a T-shape of black carpet, then one here and here, and a T-shape on the nose. On top of the cap, do three white carpet here in the middle, then two rows of three iron trap doors, then three white carpet, three iron trap doors. Put three blue carpet here, and then behind this, go three wide with purple carpet, and we're gonna bring it back till it's over the back of these iron bars here. Then come back here, surround this exhaust with purple carpet, and then back here, we'll do a row of purple carpet down this side, and down this side here. Then we're gonna take out black carpet, and we're gonna come up here on this box and put a row of black carpet across this. Then drop down here and do a full row of black carpet down this walkway to the back. Then come around this corner, do a T-shape on the back, then come around this corner and start coming all the way back up this side with black carpet here. And then we're gonna put one up here and two here. Then right here, a column of four bamboo fences and a blue banner here. Then here come up three over one and a two by two here. Repeat the pattern on this side. So here, up four, and make sure you put a blue banner over there, I forgot it. Then here, up three over one, and a two by two right here. Then put a chain across this gap. We're gonna repeat the pattern at the back. So right here, a column of four bamboo fences. Here, up three over one, and a two by two up here. And repeat here, so up four, here, up three, over one, and a two by two here. Then a chain across this gap. Then take dark oak fences, and we're gonna connect it up on top right here. And we're just gonna start bringing it forward all the way up this walkway with dark oak fences. And then when we get up right here, we're gonna come up one, forward one, up one, and forward three, so it looks like that. Then we'll do the other side, so come back here with your dark oak vents, connect it up on top right here, and start bringing it forward all the way up this side. Then when we get right here, we're gonna put two on top here, then here up two, and then we're gonna come forward across the top of this box here. So you get right there, and it looks like this. Now up here on either of these fences, put a glow item frame with a frog light. And then also one on the center of the nose here with a frog light. 
But up here, actually, these three blocks need to be changed to lapis lazuli, because that's supposed to be blue. Put three white carpet on top. Then we'll add a dark oak sign here for the number board with 1871 on each side. Hit them both with white dye and a glow ink sack each. And then we'll do the rear end. So we're gonna swing down to the rear end. And there's a logo on the back here. And for that, we're gonna use a crimson sign. So we're gonna come on this central gray concrete and we're gonna put a crimson sign and we're gonna type Atlantic Coastline on three different lines like this. Hit this with white dye and a glowing sack. Then up here on the top middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light. And then down under here, we're gonna add a dark oak sign right here with 1871. Same thing on the opposite side. Hit these with yellow dye and a glowing sack each. And then if you want rear ditch lights, put a glow item frame with a frog light on each of these fences. And then we'll come up here. Now come into a loom with a purple banner and light gray dye, make the bottom half light gray. Then add a horizontal purple stripe on the bottom and a horizontal yellow stripe on the middle. Then a new purple banner, make the bottom half light gray and put a yellow horizontal on the middle of this one. And then we'll come place these. And we're gonna use this one with two purple stripes to represent the lettering. We're gonna come under this stair and put three. Then we'll skip a block and put two. Then we'll skip a block and we will put three. And that represents the lettering on the gray stripe. Repeat on this side, so under the stair, we'll put three, skip one and two, skip one and three. Then we'll take our other banner, we're gonna put one here, one here, one here, and then a row across here up to there. So you get that yellow pinstripe on. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll come over here and we're gonna put one of these banners here, one here, one here, two here. Then it's up to you if you want this carpet or we can take it off like this and we can continue this yellow pinstripe forward and add four more here. Now come back into a loom, purple banner, light gray dye. Make the top light gray, a yellow horizontal on the middle. Then we're gonna go to a blue banner and light gray dye and we're gonna make one with the bottom light gray, one with the top light gray, and then put a yellow horizontal on both of these. And then we'll come and start placing these. So we're gonna take this one with blue on bottom, and we're gonna put one here. Then the one with purple on bottom, put two here, and then come right here and do a full row of this one on this level, so there's a bottom yellow pinstripe here. Then we're gonna add two right here, one on the back here and here, one here, then start right here and do a full row of this coming forward across here. Then we're gonna add the one with blue on bottom right here. Then we're gonna come over on this other side and the one with blue on top, we're gonna put two right here. Then we're gonna come back into a loom again with a purple banner, blue dye, Make the bottom half blue and put a yellow horizontal on the middle for our final banner. And we'll come over here and this one's gonna go right here to continue the stripe there. Now we'll do the interior, so come out inside the cab here. Down in this corner, put an end portal. Then put three smooth stone blocks here, three here. Then we'll come down here, turn around and put a birch door right here. Then we'll come back here. On the side, we're gonna put two rows of four smooth sandstone blocks. And same thing here. Then two on this back middle, and then put two smooth sandstone stairs coming down for a staircase. Then an upside down stair here and here. A lever on the right, and the middle a glow item frame with an end crystal. Turn around and put a black stone brick stair here and here for seats. And on this back middle, two blast furnaces to cover the hole. And now we can come back outside. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our newest heritage unit, CSX 1871, the Atlantic Coastline Heritage Unit. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.